everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, folks, so I finally got to the end of my James Cameron 4K reviews. So naturally, for this video, I'm going to be reviewing True Lies. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be laughing. I only just watched it a couple of nights ago, and I was in tears laughing from start to finish. It is quite brilliant. I was really looking forward to this. It's been years since I've seen it, and it holds up incredibly well. And I remember thinking at the time uh, when it got released, I remember thinking, you know, it was very refreshing to see James Cameron bring out something that was not sci-fi related. But I didn't realize we were going to be getting this over-the-top action movie, which was a borderline comedy. It really is. There is so many mo mo moments in this movie that had me in tears laughing. One particular segment, it's my personal favorite, is the scene where Schwarzenegger is being interrogated, where, he, where he's given the truth serum. Just look at some of the facial expressions that he makes through that entire segment. He actually sounds like an infant. And he does it quite convincingly. Hands down, his best comedic performance I've ever seen in a movie. And when you get Tom Arnold, throw him in the mix, his kind of comedic sidekick in this, the two of them bounce off so well together. And I think this is probably the closest we'll ever see Schwarzenegger in a James Bond role. But yes, quite brilliant. Jamie Lee Curtis. Once again, another strong uh, leading actress role in a James Cameron movie. And she excels in this role. She really, really does. As a matter of fact, she won a Golden Globe for Best Actress for this movie. And rightly so. When you actually see how she starts out at the start of this and what she becomes at the end of it, it is quite amazing. And then there is that one scene. The one scene that broke so many VHS tapes back in the day. Do not deny it. You are all guilty just like myself. And then you've also got Bill Paxton as well, who is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the sleaziest little shits you're ever going to see in a movie. And again, he does it with such incredible ease. I have all the time in the world for Bill Paxton. Now, the movie itself as well, it was actually the first uh, movie to actually cost $100 million uh, to make. But my God, it paid off because it was a box office juggernaut. It took in just shy of $400 million in the worldwide box office. And I remember back in the day, I remember when it got released on VHS, you could not grab a copy of it. I remember going into my local video store and I'd be waiting there for hours hoping that someone would bring a tape back, but it just never came back. It almost took me around three weeks after it got released on VHS to finally get it in my hands. And it was, uh, look, it was worth the wait. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, when it comes to special features on this release, unlike the Aliens release and the uh, Abyss release, you don't get a dedicated bonus disc inside this. There is only one feature that, that, that you really have to concern yourself by, and it is the Fear is Not an Option, a look back on True Lies. I haven't checked it out yet. I think it's around 47 minutes long, but I'm looking forward to doing so. Right, folks, so I'm going to take you around this release and give you a close look at it, and then I'm going to come back and review its 4K picture. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, True Lies. So like I said in my Aliens and the Abyss videos, these stickers, they're incredibly hard to remove. Now, I was given a few tips on how to remove them, so I'm going to look into doing it sometime today. Uh, somebody mentioned if you actually get a hairdryer, apparently it massively helps. But look, I'll look into it very soon. Uh, when it comes to the cover artwork in this one, I'm not going to lie, I'm not particularly crazy about it. It looks like a, a romantic comedy from the 90s. Uh, but the True Lies does have a nice bit of spot gloss in the title itself, and it is slightly embossed. But uh, I wish it would make more effort when it comes to the uh, artwork on these releases. So that is the main artwork. Uh, I'll take us then on to the spine of this one. And then right around to the back, and just like all the other releases, you have the simple right up on the top. And then of course your special features and technical aspects as well. So there you have it, folks. That is the back artwork. So I'm going to remove the slip cover, And as you can see, it is the exact same again. So I'm not going to spend any time with it. Uh, I'll just show you the spine again and right around to the back. And just so you know as well, uh, the two discs inside, uh, the Blu-ray and the 4K. The Blu-ray is region-free in case you're out wondering. So you have uh, absolutely nothing to worry about, just like the other two releases. So there you have it, folks. That's just a quick look at this release of True Lies. Right, so on to the 4K transfer. So I suppose the big question here is, is this going to be a hat-trick of great-looking 4K transfers? Because as you know, I was massively impressed by Aliens and the Abyss on 4K. But unfortunately, I cannot say the same for True Lies. Well, I can and I can't. 
Look, I'll get more into it now in a second. It's just, this one just seems horribly inconsistent. It really, really does. Uh, now, everybody was talking about the implementation of DNR on all three of these releases. Uh, they were saying that everything had this kind of waxy appearance. Look, I didn't see it on Aliens and the Abyss. I really didn't. But on this, I absolutely can see it. There's one segment in particular that stands out for me. It's the scene where they're all sitting around the table with Charlton Heston. Just check that out. Look at the facial details. Everything, there, nothing has any detail on it. Completely scrubbed away. Everything's smoothed out. And not only that, but the skin tones have this kind of bronze look to it for some strange reason. It's not all through the movie. Just certain instances. But that's what I'm talking about. Horribly inconsistent. And not only that, but the grain structure on this one. Now, I mentioned in Aliens and the Abyss, there is, a grain, there is a grain structure there, no question about it. It's incredibly fine. But in this one, it's scrubbed away completely. I couldn't see it, no matter how close I got to my TV. But the one thing I'm going to say here, folks, is if you can actually look past these issues, you might get a lot from this 4K transfer. Because as you know... We never got a Blu-ray release. We only got a DVD. And I checked out the DVD and it doesn't look particularly all that great. Now the picture does have, it looks ultra sharp at times. It really does. When it has its big moments, it looks absolutely spectacular. It really, really does. But like I said, you just got those inconsistencies that destroys it for me. But the real star of the show here, folks, and the real reason to why you want to get this is the Dolby Vision colours and the HDR10 colours. Uh, they are the star of the show. They, they give me the biggest upgrade that you could expect when it comes to this release. But look, 9 out of 10 times when it comes to 4K releases, it's always the Dolby Vision or HDR colours that gives me my upgrade. And for that reason alone, I think it's worth checking out. The colours are so bright and vivid and uh, so incredibly colourful. And it does breed new life into this movie. I think you're going to be massively impressed by it. So like I said, if you can overlook its issues, chances are you might get something from this 4K release. And I still recommend picking it up because there's no way you could live with the DVD when this release is out there. Now it also comes with a Dolby Atmos soundtrack and I have to admit it's my least favourite of the three. Take nothing away from it, it still sounds great. It just takes a while to get going. Basically from the scene where he's been interrogated, the scene that I spoke about at the start of this video, from there onwards, the Dolby Atmos really gets to flex its muscles. It is quite impressive. Just check out the Harrier scene uh, at the bridge. Wow, there is just so much going on, so much low end bass. Uh, the separation with your speakers as well, I'm not kidding, planes would be flying from one speaker to the other quite convincingly. And your overhead channels as well, just incredible. The rear speakers are constantly going as well. Even the scene at the end with the Harrier at the building. My God, when he opens fire, holy shit. This room was just shaking. I am not kidding you. Uh, there's quite a bit to marvel at here uh, when it comes to its Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Like I said, it just takes a bit of time to get going. But when it does, I think you'll be massively impressed by it. So there you have it folks, that is my review of True Lies and uh, it's not the result that I was hoping that we would get but like I said, if you can look past its issues I think there's a lot to be had with this 4K release particularly with its Dolby Vision and HDR colours So there you have it folks, so as per usual if you did like what you see here please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of its 4K transfer and yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.